Hello readers, our next book of the day is Watch Me by Doyen Richards, a story of immigration and inspiration. Watch Me Joe grew up in Sierra Leone, a small West African country. He had nice manners, got good grades, and like you, always listened to his parents. Well, maybe not always. Joe had goals and dreams like you. He knew he had to make a big move in order to achieve them. Joe wanted to go to America. His friends and family said people would laugh at his accent and fear his dark skin. They said he'd never fit in. He was different, perhaps like you. Joe smiled and said, watch me. His friends and family were right. The food in America was strange. The music was new. And perhaps like you, he enjoyed it. But Joe still missed Sierra Leone. In America, some people teased Joe about his accent and dark skin. Some people told him, told him to go back to Africa. It hurt Joe to be hated for things he couldn't control, just like it hurts you. Maybe going back home to Africa was the safe and easy thing to do. But Joe's dreams didn't hang out with safe and easy. To those who doubted he could make it in America, he said, watch me. Look around. Do you see people like Joe? Do you watch them learn and study? Surrounded by books? Do you watch them as they deal with all kinds of looks? Do you watch them throw an awesome curveball? Do you watch them eat lunch by themselves down the hall? They come by plane, perhaps like you. They come by boat. Maybe you did too. Watch them. See them. This land is your land. This land is our land. There is enough for everyone. But what about Joe? Joe studied, and perhaps like you, he studied hard. He knew he had to work twice as hard at school to prove that he actually belonged there. Many of his teachers and classmates thought he wouldn't graduate. Watch me, Joe said. And at the end of his school years, he was Dr. Joe. How do I know? Because Dr. Joe was my dad. Right now, a kid is dreaming of coming to America to become the next Dr. Joe. You don't think she can do it?
watch me, she says and smiles. This land is your land. This land is our land. There is enough for everyone.